all right guys we are back again and now in today's video we are going to understand what exactly are credentials and how do you log into the targets so that you can manage those targets if you remember like whenever you want to log into the host right let's take i want to log into the dev db from oracle enterprise manager and many a times i have said that we'll be using the named credential that is the oracle user credentials that will help us log into the target server the same thing goes with the database instance we need a sys user login and sometimes we also need the dbsnmp user login to actually log into the database and perform the activities now for a very small environment you don't need to bother about named credentials this is like a disclaimer i am telling it up front in case if your environment is very small you can completely ignore the setting up of the credentials that we are going to look into this uh, lecture but technically i mean it's a good idea if you can systemize the uh, credentials within your entire enterprise manager but before that let us look at what exactly i'm talking about so let's take if we go to all targets and if i go to uh, probably dev db i'll just type dev because i want to look at the listener all right so this is the listener so let me get into the listener and what i'll try to do is i'll try to stop the listener so when we try to stop the listener definitely oracle enterprise manager needs the login credentials onto the target server so that it, it can actually stop the listener right so any time when oracle enterprise manager is trying to log in right can you see select host credentials we'll be looking at the preferred credentials and the named credentials earlier if you remember i have talked about the named credentials named credential is like the oracle user all right the the user that you will use to connect to the server now in this case i want to log into the host i can see that we have earlier created two named credentials one is the dev server oracle user and one is the dev server root user now here is the thing guys why i was saying that it is not important for you to kind of like manage credentials inside the enterprise manager if your environment is slow because every time you can go to new and give the login id user and password it is up to you all right and you can choose whether you want to save it or you don't want to save it it's up to you completely up to you but the only problem is when your environment grows it is hard to remember all the passwords right i mean it won't be possible for anyone to remember all the username and password so it is a good idea that you save these credentials inside the oracle enterprise manager so that it is easy for you to kind of like log in and manage any kind of server so the first thing we are going to be looking at is the named credentials so what are named credentials uh, okay let us get inside the named credentials so you have to go to the setup go to security and this is where you will find the named credentials all right so let us get into the named credentials the named credentials are like the direct login information of the targets all right so for example i can see that we have the dev oracle user right and the target username is oracle and we have the dev server root user and these are the host credentials so what are the host credentials the credentials that are used to log into the server right so let's take you want to perform a root level script or you want to run a root level script you need root login information correct now of course this is a test environment so we added the root user login information but in real time you might not have the root user all right but you can have the oracle user you can see we have created dev underscore oracle underscore user this is host login that means it is the oracle user with which we install the dev database on the dev server the same thing is dev db underscore sys user 
right so i guess these two i think i had created while testing so what i'll do is i'll delete these two and we'll recreate it okay don't worry we can always recreate it so just assume like whenever you log in i mean in your system this is how you will be seeing the credentials all right so name credentials allow you to add default login details for any of your targets so for example i want to log into the dev database as sys user and i want to save that information so what i'll do is i'll go to create now i'm creating a credential so for the dev server i am creating the sys user password right dev sys uh, i think sorry we can give it something like this dev db that is the database sid underscore sys user guys you have to be very careful about the naming conventions because these help you simplify your environment otherwise it will be hard for you right so over here what i've done is i have given the database sid that is the dev db underscore sys underscore user and we need to define what authentication type it is this is i am defining the login of the database instance and these credentials are the database credentials right and scope scope is important guys let's take dev db sys user like in your environment the sys user password is same for all the databases okay so what you can do is you can do something like this db sys user and you can define it as global so when you define it as global whatever id password that you are going to specify over here you can use it every time on any database to log in as the sys user because in in, in your environment sys user password is same for all the databases right but in our case of course i mean it will be hard that you see an environment where passwords are same so the scope we will be looking i mean keeping it as target only that means we are defining the dev db sys user password for the database which is running on the dev server right so probably okay so i need to select the target type target type will be database instance and now database instance running on which server dev server all right so what i have done i have defined i have said that on the dev server the database instance i mean we know the database sid that is the dev db underscore sys user and i want to give the sys user id and password now so the username will be sys give the sys user password all right and the role will be sys dba perfect and now test and save see what happens so the dev db sys user is saved so anytime i want to log into the dev server with the sys user i can use this named credential so what is the name credential it is like the id password of the respective targets let us create some more on the dev database that is the dev db we also have db sn mp user right you remember this is the monitoring user we had created earlier so i can define this user and then i can say that this is the database instance now see guys like you can save the id password for almost everything including your database listener and all other targets so every target that you can manage from enterprise manager you can save its credentials and this is database instance so this is also running on the dev db so dev db is the database sid dbsnmp is the user and now i will give the username dbsnmp and the password i think it was oracle the role is normal this is normal user test and save now see what happens so we are building our repository we are trying to save all the credentials over here now these all are the credentials of the dev server what about our oem server we did not give the oem server details right so let us create those credentials so 
so oem that's the server name underscore root underscore user because i know the root user password so what i'm doing is for the oem server i am saving the root user details authentication type this is the host credentials that means i want to log in to the host right host credentials target it is a specific target type it is a host and the target name will be the oem server right this is oem server so i am saving the root user details username will be root password i know the root user password and let us test and save this actually allows you uh, for the easy management all right so you can see oem root user right target name oem.dbgenesis.com now guys in the dev underscore root user the target name is missing so we will edit this one because we need to give the target right actually we made it global okay sorry our mistake so change it to dev server it must be attached to the dev server test and save right so you can see um, on the dev server root user we have got dev.dbgenesis.com and dev server oracle user all right we'll edit this one also we need to make it target only and the target name will be the dev server perfect save all right so for the oem server we have only given the root user password let us give the oem server oracle user password so oem underscore oracle underscore user right so this is the host user guys all right and these are the host credentials and this is on the oem server i want to save the oracle user id password for the oem server username will be oracle i think password should be this one i'm not sure guys we'll see test and save okay it should work come on <coughs> okay it's not working i think the password is i think it should be this one test and save awesome so what we have done is we have saved the oem server root user details oem server oracle user details now because i don't want to keep the database user information in my head so what i'll do is oem server so the database on the oem server that we have is OEM DB. I am using the database SID underscore sys underscore user. So I am giving the credentials of the OEM database sys user now. And this is for database instance. Target will be on the OEM server. And the username will be sys. Password, I think it should be this one. Not sure. We'll see. I'm giving this sys user password guys and the role will be sysdba let us test and save if it works awesome it's working fine right and now I'll give the other user like oemdb underscore dbsnmp underscore user right this is the monitoring user we have database instance and then it is for the oemdb host the username will be dbsn mp password i think it is oracle let us test and save perfect so guys anytime like you can keep it as a thumb rule anytime that you add a new target to this oracle enterprise manager try to go to named credentials and add as many credentials as possible so whether it is your root user oracle user sys user hr user any other user inside the database that you want to use within the oracle enterprise manager to log in so let me show you how it works okay so let us go to probably all targets okay and hmm, i'll go to host okay so let us get inside the host that is the dev server and I want to run a command. I want to run or execute some command on this host. So definitely OEM needs credentials to log into this host. And now you will see how we can use the named credentials that we have already saved to log into this host and execute our command. 
All right, so let us go to host, execute host command. So as we choose this one, definitely specify the host credentials. Because we have already saved the word named credentials, we can click on the named credentials and this is how it simplifies your life, okay? So let's take as an Oracle user, you want to execute some command. So definitely this is dev underscore Oracle underscore user. Either you can log in with the Oracle user, but let's take you want to execute something as root user. So what you can do is select the root user. Can you see the username root has been changed? And once you click on okay, now I am logged into the server as the root user. So I can do cat slash etc slash host and execute. I can see the output. Perfect. Now let's take you execute something, um, probably LSN or CTL start or status listener. Okay. I'll execute. Definitely because we are logged in as root user, this command will not work. Can you see over here? It gives you an option to change. So what I want to do is I want to log into this server as the Oracle user dev underscore Oracle underscore user. And guys, this is the reason why I tell you to have great naming conventions for your credentials because it helps you fast. And also because we are logged into the dev server, right? You are seeing all the credentials which are assigned to the dev server. You're not seeing all the name credentials that you have stored into Oracle Enterprise Manager. You're only seeing the credentials that pertain to the dev server. Now I want to log in as Oracle user. I'll click on OK and LSNR CTL status listener. I'll execute this one. I'm not sure. Let's clear LSNR CTL status listener execute. All right. Uh, I guess this will not work guys because guys we are logging in from over here. I mean the Oracle Enterprise Manager. It does not by default execute your bash profile. So if your bash profile is not executed, definitely environment variables will not be set and that actually creates a problem. So do not worry. I think you get the idea behind what I'm trying to say. So basically if you have the named credentials, let us go back to the named credentials. If you store all the credentials like this, you don't need to remember the ID password whenever you're trying to log into the host or the database instance. And as I mentioned, guys, if you go to create, you can actually store the passwords for almost everything, automatic storage management, cluster, cluster ASM, almost everything. Anything that requires a login information, you can store it over here, the name credentials, and it is one of the best ways to simplify your environment. All right. That being said, guys, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if your environment is small, you need not bother about this one because anytime let's take you want to execute something on this host, you can always give the new credentials. No one is stopping you. Let's take if I go to execute host command and this time I'll change the credentials. Can you see new? Every time you can give the user ID password, but the only problem is you need to remember this, right? So the best way is when your environment is big, you can always store the credentials under the name credentials. And this will allow you to log into the database or the host or the listener or the instance anytime whenever you want within the Oracle Enterprise Manager. This actually simplifies your life. It makes your life easy so that all the credentials are stored in one location. That being said, guys, we'll meet in our next video.